up y'all it's Shane I'm back with a brand new video what's up y'all so we're back with another video if you're new to the channel welcome if you're returning you know the vibes my name is she lashley if you're new here i post college and vlogs and fashion related content i attend savannah state university i'm a sophomore and i also play volleyball welcome to the channel and if you're not new welcome back what's up so for today's video we're gonna be doing a hygiene routine video for 2023 i'm gonna be putting out on all my spring favorites and my last video i did a hygiene shopping video and I promised you guys that I would do a full-blown routine including all the products that I use so this is it here it is I'm very excited for this video because I have so 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 many hygiene products that I feel like a lot of people don't really know about so I'm excited to be telling y'all about them it is a good amount of products but I promise you guys I use every single one and they all are good for everything I mean I can't lie I'm that kind of person that sees something on TikTok and tries it so I've tried so many things and I know what works and what doesn't so I'm gonna put y'all on we have different sections we have hygiene we have personal hygiene we have oral hygiene we have body care we have hair and i think we have a couple other ones but i can't remember from the top of my head but we've been oh skincare as well let's not forget that that's one of the most important ones so yeah and we got a section for this girl down here so stay tuned for that I really hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys are following all my socials if you're not they will of course be down in the description box so keep up with me because when i'm not on here i'm usually posting on another platform once again enjoy this video Yo, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's get into it so with the first section we're going to begin with we're going to start off with oral hygiene i feel like that's a short and simple one i do have a regular toothbrush and it's not electrical i did tell you guys that i used to have an electrical one in my other video the hygiene shopping one but i stopped using it i really don't remember why um but i like the feeling of like just brushing for myself so i'll stop using it but i've heard that there's a lot of good electrical brands so if you guys know any feel free to let me know down below and put me on some so first i got my crest pretty white this is what i use to brush my teeth this is like one of the best toothpaste ever this is what keeps up with the pearly whites and also some crest pretty whites can be expensive but i always get the value pack it says it up top if you go to target or walmart you should be able to find it this is what it looks like it comes with two in it so you really pay one price for two tubes like this this is what it looks like and y'all it says removes up to 90 percent of surface stains they don't be lying they don't be lying because they really get the yeah i really get it right so don't don't play with it as far as mouthwash i use the thera breath this smells amazing and it leaves a perfect scent in your mouth it's not too minty um especially the pink one this one is sparkle mint it's just a good amount of mint you know i don't like my mouth is like super minty to the point where like somebody's talking to you and you're like smelling it so much i don't like that which is why i don't use um what's that other listerine called again i don't remember but i'm gonna put a picture um if you guys know what i'm talking about it's just too it's just too minty and also a lot of people say that um there's alcohol that they put in that so that's really why i stopped using that stay away from it but i stick to their breath it smells so great target usually have different um flavors and colors so the blue one well the dark blue one is a scent the light blue one is one the glitter one is one the green one they have all kinds of colors i personally always get the pink one i don't know something about the pink one that always just gets me right every time by the way quick disclaimer if my voice sounds funny i've been recovering from a cold so my voice does sound a little raspy right now and i do have to keep taking like a thousand breaks because i'll be running out of breath so just bear with me on that but i use these dental whitening treatment these are my whitening strips this is what they look like out of the pack i don't have the box with me because it was taking up too much space but here's what they look like this is how they come in the box it comes with two whitening strips in each little packet one for the top row and one for the bottom row these you leave it on for like about 30 minutes and it got it gets your teeth looking purely white pearly white okay and lastly as far as my toothbrush it comes with like a sort of like scraper in the back of the toothbrush which is what i use for my tongue scraping i don't have like a individual tongue scraper i just use the one in the back of my toothbrush that's the one that be getting all the goodies out okay so now we're gonna move on to skincare i'm gonna first talk to you guys about my makeup wipes that i use my makeup wipes from Uber. this is the brand i do not know how to pronounce this spa cryptions oh it actually was an hour it's called spa cryptions this is what i use comes in this packet get from target or walmart really in, anywhere and it comes with like a whole bunch i know y'all see how thick this is it comes with like a whole lot of wipes and it really removes um 
your makeup really good and it also has car coil in it you guys know that's really good for your skin and also for your teeth so these are the makeup wipes that i use they get really everything off even my lash glue like i'd be scrubbing it with it and it comes off right away as far as face wash i use these two i use the senorade essential cleanser which has vitamin c in it this is actually from ulta it is pricey i ain't gonna lie but listen it keeps your skin so clear it has vitamin c in it which is good for your skin i also usually go on with my black soap you can actually get this from the beauty supply store this is what it looks like i don't use this every day though i probably use it like three or four times a week only because black soap can happen to dry your face out so i don't recommend i'm using black soap every single day However, you can use it from time to time, which is what I do. Sometimes after I use this vitamin C cleanser, I go in with my black soap in the shower. This right here is the combo to glowing skin. <laughs> so with this vitamin C Murad cleanser, I also pair it up with the Rapid Dark Spot Corrector Serum. This, you guys, let me tell y'all, it's like $70 for this little bottle right here, but it is amazing. It get rid of your dark spots super quickly. I put this on my neck sometimes, even on my face, on the side of my face, because I began some like bumps and it leaves dark spots behind. So let me tell you, this combo right here is the combo to get rid of dark spots. I know like y'all probably haven't even heard of this brand because it's kind of like a low-key brand. I really never even heard about it until a YouTuber I think I was watching spoke about this. And let me tell you, it is pricey. I ain't gonna lie, but sometimes you gotta invest in expensive skin products to get good results and that's what I did I'm so glad that I made this purchase and it's still got a good amount in it and then I got the rapid corrector serum you just got to use like a small little pump on whatever spot you need don't use too much because a little goes a long way apply this every single day you will see results um you can get both of them together however if you were to pick one i definitely do recommend the rapid corrector serum only because i've had this one first before i invested in this one so definitely check this one out see how you like the brand see how it's doing on your skin before you go and purchase both so yeah i also forgot to mention before applying the rapid corrector serum you always want to go in with the moisturizer this is the neutrogena moisturizer that i use it's right here this one is actually super cheap you can find it at walmart or target it's an am treatment um so i usually use this in the morning i even really use this in the afternoon to be honest so yeah i don't know but it's super small this also do last a little mini the only thing i really don't like about this um is that it kind of dries your face up so don't put too much or if you do happen to put too much just use shea butter that's what i do um but it is fragrance free which is amazing and it really helps with stubborn acne so, you know when you have those little spots where you constantly get acne there or like acne doesn't go away easily this is what i use so i use it just on my whole face this palmer skin success is another dark spot corrector that i use this one is cheaper so if you want to try out this one i definitely recommend but i to use this for like the rest of my body though like my knees or my elbows or like sometimes my neck um but you gotta be super consistent with this and it's good to apply a good amount because it does come with a lot in it so yeah i highly recommend this bad boy right here if you want to get rid of any dark spots next up i do want to talk to you guys about fast clean this is actually what i use to moisturize my face as well sometimes when my face get like super dry especially when it's cold i use this i also use this as like a chapstick or like lip moisturizer this is just fast clean. you just use this anywhere i know y'all know about this already I ain't got to talk too much about this. I also do have two different chapsticks. I got the uh, Burt's Bees one and I got this regular chapstick, which is like a skin protectant. This is in the flavor Strawberry. I wish it would focus. Here it is. And then this is the other one that I got, which is the Burt Bees. I think that's how you call it, Burt's Bees, whatever. This is in the flavor Watermelon. So these are the chapsticks that I use. This is the brands that I usually go to for real. I don't really use any other ones. Then we got lip gloss because y'all know I like to keep my lips shiny, honey. Okay, so I got the Ruby Kisses. This lip oil is my favorite. My best friend is actually the one who put me onto this. It's my fave. It's not too sticky. It's literally amazing. Love this one. Then I got these two, which are the Broadway ones. I have the one in, I don't know what flavor this is. This is like a mango one. And then this one is like a rose kind of flavor. It's these two. These are my favorite. Like I must stick beside them so yeah this is my little lip gloss collection i used to have more but i really stick besides these three because a lot of them are done last but not least in skincare y'all know i can't forget about my black girl sunscreen i love this this is the truth i bought this when i went to my trip uh for aruba i think it was back back in june or whatever i remember last summer but um i bought the spf 45 so with this one it's also the matte one which is like when you apply makeup it leaves your makeup matte yeah i know we gotta keep the skin 
nice and even so i definitely recommend this sunscreen oh i forgot to tell y'all about these uh pimple patches i've spoke a little bit about this on my hygiene video so these are the mighty patch these are the ones that i use for any pimples that i happen to have y'all listen i do not pop my pimples anymore it is 2023 you should stop popping yours too because i mean like popping pimples leave dark spots and all that so i use these bad boys right here oh uh, well not these i use these two these are like my favorites um i've tried using this one which is the uh star face one um i don't know i'm not too big of a fan i mean like i don't know i've tried using this brand for the first time because i've seen a lot of reviews of it on tiktok but i really didn't like it it wasn't it didn't do the job for me as much as these bad boys do these one they literally like suck out the white stuff y'all see this picture that they got right here they didn't they didn't lie on this one this is really true every pimple that i got i put my little pimple patch on there go to sleep next morning go on i'm not even kidding next up we're gonna move on to vitamins these are my women's multivitamins that i take on a daily basis um, i take two a day it supports um energy metabolism bone and immune support it is amazing i take two of these a day like i told you guys in my hygiene shopping video i used to take the hair skin and nails one but it made hair grow very well and i like it okay i don't like that my legs everyone's just too hairy too fast so i stopped taking it then i take uh also this d3 um these d3 pills uh they also support immune system and immune health this is the bomb and then i also take this vitamin c um like it's like a tea in a sense it's like a juice i guess um you just dissolve it in water but however i ran out and i forgot to buy some from the store so yeah i'll still put a picture up though so you guys can have an idea of what i'm talking about last but not least these are not like vitamins or anything but this is what i take to sleep these are my melatonins um i use it in the brand Oli. let me tell y'all you take one of these every well not every night but like whenever you need to take one you will fall asleep like a baby and you will wake up full of energy and ready to start your day that's really what i really like about these gummies is that like you won't wake up the next day feeling super drowsy if anything like you want to wake up and do other things the other melatonins that i used to take it made me feel super drowsy in the morning i did not want to get up or do nothing so i really like this one and they're like a berry flavor i'm not that big of a fan but it gets the job done we're gonna now move into body care and when i say body care i mean like body wash and like lotion and like just smelling good stuff and things that i recommend so as far as body wash this is the scented one that i use is from raw sugar they have different scents it's also for sensitive skin so if you suffer from sensitive skin listen this brand is for you this one is specifically beach rose plus coconut milk plus shea i have been using this brand for a while now and i kid you not i've tried every single scent um so far i bought this scent yesterday this is what this was actually the last one that i've yet to try um, but i've tried every single one and i love each and every one of them as far as unscented i use my regular old schmegla black soap that i also use on my face i mean you can never go wrong with black soap black soap is really good for any and everything to wash miss girl i use salt exos products specifically i don't use any other wash um this one is the yoni gel it fights bacteria um it helps with the ph balance and so much more this is a feminine wash um they do have different this one is the yoni one i think they have like a vitamin c one they just have all kinds they have like body scrubs and all that they're a black owned business on instagram they've been trending for a while now so these are the wash that i stick to i try not to wash my body with too many things just because i don't like to have too much going on and just have different products on my body because like mixing so many together never does well on my skin to scrub my body real real good i use these i guess they're called a loofah but this one is different so it's not really called a loofah like yes it's big yes it's thick and it scrub so good i think my mom get this from like the beauty supply store i think you can find it i don't know if walmart has this it usually comes with like the big packs but we just like cut them down to exfoliate in the shower before i shave i use this kp bump eraser if you struggle with strawberry legs and just like hyperpigmentation i definitely recommend this this is pricey it is from Ulta um however this is 100% worth it this is what it looks like I do not buy this quite often because you just have to use this like two or three times a week it says is there any instructions in the back you're not supposed to use this too often I guess it's because of the products that's in it it can kind of be like harsh on your skin I mean it is a exfoliator so it gotta be harsh so it's like a scrub look good you know what I mean but yeah this is what I used it's the KP scrub you can find this at Ulta I don't think Target has it neither does Walmart so only Ulta and to shave I use my intuition shavers slash blades I really um bought this one like a while ago 
I like kept switching razors just to see if I really liked it. And I really, really do like this brand. Um, I have the stick already, which is like this. You can reuse the stick. So all you gotta do is like replace the blades, which are these bad boys right here. It already comes with shaving cream. If you watch my hygiene shopping video, I spoke to you guys about it just a tad bit, but I'm gonna kind of get in depth. So this is like a lavender um, flavor. It also has organic cocoa butter in it, which is amazing for your skin. They do have another scent, which is like a greenish scent. I don't remember what it's called, but this is the lavender one that I've been sticking to. It smells literally amazing too, and it just leaves your skin super smooth. And for my girlies who also suffer from hyperpigmentation, whether it's in your armpits or in your bikini line, there's this Spanish PFB that's actually from Walmart. I usually order it online. They also I think I have it on Amazon. However, they do not have this in stores. This is called PFB Chroma Bright. Um, it helps with skin brightening and growing hair relief, waxing slash razor bumps. Um, it's for men and women. It's like a roll on really. This is what it looks like and you just roll it on after you shave or like after you wax, whatever the case may be. It helps with like, you know, just help with relief. I highly recommend, I've been using this for a while now. I think this just has to be consistent with it. You have to apply it every day, preferably twice a day. But um, definitely you will see results with this. To also shave, I use this razorless cream shave. It's called Bald Head Magic. This is the um, one that I specifically use. It's the gold one. I don't like the smell of it. However, it gets the job done. I always get the gold one for some reason. I never switch to any other color. This is what I use to shave Miss Girl. You gotta leave this on for like four minutes. Don't leave it on longer because it does have like a minty freshness to it. And if you leave it on for too long, you will be feeling minty in the shower or whatever. So don't leave this on. Listen, hear me out. If you're gonna use this, do not leave it on for too long. But um, yeah, it definitely gets rid of all the hair. Okay, and it doesn't burn, which is amazing, but it does make it like feel super fresh if you leave it on for too long. Then to moisturize, I have a lot of moisturizers, but I have this 24 hour moisture, which is from EOS. This one has like a vanilla scent, smells great. I love to smell this on me, especially at night. It is a lightweight type of scent, and it's also a lightweight type of lotion, so it's not too heavy, but it smells really so great. Y'all gotta go to Target and smell this. I promise you, you will you will want to buy it. It smells amazing, I love it. Then I also use Aveeno with Skin Relief Moisturizer Lotion. I use this really on my days where I don't feel like, you know, you're wearing something scented I just go with the baby lotion it's really for adults too but it smells like I don't know it just doesn't have a scent to it really for real but yeah these are the two bad boys that I use I also use these two shea butters this one is the dry skin double butter this one is doesn't have any scent to it I don't know partnership with ancient cosmetics not too long ago you guys probably seen it in my videos um but they sent these to me and I've been using it ever since this one is a toasted marshmallow one this one is a scented one but they do have different kinds so you guys happen to want to check them out to moisturize her also like the surroundings and all that definitely that is when you don't want to keep her dry as far as body oil for my legs after i shave i cannot go wrong with the skin therapy oil listen this is my go-to this will have your legs and your body glowing and also just feeling super smooth and then y'all know after you shave then you put some lotion or some body oil some fresh new sheets and some fuzzy socks that's the combo right here. That, that that combo would do it. So hear me out, get this body oil. It's so good. I also moisturize my tattoos with this. It's really amazing. It moisturizes my body super well. I also have another scented scent. This one is from Victoria's Secret. Let me tell y'all right now, I really rarely use this. I use this here and there, or mostly to moisturize my hands. I'm not someone who likes to put too much like scent on my body, but it still smells really good. I love this. It smells, it smells bomb. Then I got this shimmer body oil. Usually when I'm going to the beach or anything, or if I'm going out and I have like, or like if I wear a shirt that's a little bit of cleavage, or like it's a, like a bralette, or it's like a tube top, or even like a top like this, I put some shimmer body oil on just to get the body shiny, 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 yeah. Okay, <laughs> so if you wanna shine, baby, get this. I think this is from Ulta, it's super shiny. Quick warning. Vince also get rid of dark spots. I use this mostly on my armpits or my knees. This is a ordinary glycolic acid toning solution. This is what it looks like and you can find this at Ulta. I don't believe that Walmart or even Target has it. Well, maybe Target, but I've never seen it before. But I know Ulta has it for sure. This is a toner that helps with like toning or evening your skin, um, especially your armpits. This is really, really good. I know you guys probably see it on TikTok, but um, I've tried it. And let me tell y'all for myself, let me speak for myself. It works really well on me. As y'all can see, I'll be, I'll be using it, okay? Then as far as deodorant, I use this Arid Extra Extra Dry Spray 
here's what it is. I believe it's a men's deodorant for real. It has maximum strength protection. And I'm a girl who sweats a lot. I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm an athlete. I sweat a lot. I sweat fluids. And this right here will keep you fresh all day. Let me tell you, I used to use Dove deodorant, the spray one. I don't even use that no. I just stick besides this one. It just gives you like a super clean smell and it just keeps you like smelling good even though you're sweaty all day. Now we're gonna move on to my fragrances, my faves. I don't have a full blown fragrance haul planned for you guys, but I'm gonna show you guys quite a few. But yeah, first I wanna show you guys my fragrances, which are from Dossier. I do have like a ton of these, but these are the first ones that I'm gonna show y'all. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt, but guess what? I got four new fragrances in the mail today. I am so excited to share with you guys my new fragrances that I got from Dossier. Before we begin, thanks to Dossier for sponsoring today's video. If you guys aren't familiar with Dossier, Dossier is a perfume company. They focus on making premium fragrances accessible to every Everyone. so you can definitely find fragrances that will fit your budget on their website this month I got four new fragrances in the mail I can't wait to show you guys I picked them a little while ago so I don't remember exactly what they are so we're gonna unbox them together and you guys are gonna get my reaction live before we even get into the fragrance let's talk about the minimalistic packaging the aesthetic I mean it's just super simple minimalistic and it just does the job every time but anywho the first fragrance we have is floral honeysuckle this sounds so interesting their card is literally the cutest it's just so simple and it just gets the job done every time but anywho it is inspired by gucci blue eau de parfum and yeah this one is inspired by gucci so i'm excited to see what this one smells like oh my gosh this is the bottle you guys it is just a cute bottle in my opinion it's just super simple minimalistic again like i said so let's smell it oh okay hold on i gotta spray it Ooh, this gives this definitely gives Gucci it gives expensive it gives black girl luxury it just gives all the above the next scent that we have is this one right here uh, I believe it is floral aldehyde this fragrance is actually inspired by Chanel number no. five eau de parfum oh y'all this is so exciting inspired by Chanel I don't even think I've ever had Chanel fragrances before Ooh. This smells amazing. Look at this, y'all. It smells so bomb. I love this. We got two more scents to go, y'all. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay, next scent we have is Fruity Honey. Let's see what Fruity Honey talking about, y'all. Ooh, this is definitely fruity for sure. Next we have, which is the last fragrance for the day, Powdery Orange Flower. This literally sounds so sophisticated. I mean like powdery orange flower. That just, it just sounds it's just so like, so bougie, classy, all that. Ooh, this smells great. Oh my God, I love this already. Ooh, I love this. Let's see what this one's inspired by. Let's see. By the way, the last one, the Fruity Honey one, was inspired by Joe Malone. Never heard of that one before. And this one is inspired by Valentino. <gasps> don't play, y'all. Don't play with it. Oh, my God. This is Valentino. I had Valentino. Oh, yes. This definitely gives Valentino. I've had Valentino before, y'all. This, this gives exactly that. Valentino for sure. I literally love all my new fragrances. I cannot wait to spray myself every single day with these y'all know i have a whole collection of dossier perfumes i've been working with them for a while now and it's always been a pleasure because their brand is just so authentic and just so amazing i mean a brand that makes affordable fragrances that is just amazing to me so thanks again dossier for sponsoring today's video if you'd like to purchase any fragrances from dossier or any candles because they also do have candles i have a coupon code for you at shayla a Five. Stop paying a hundred something dollars for new fragrances. I mean, hedge dossier and save some money, girl. It's 2023, baby. Keep that money in your pocket, okay? Anyways, thanks again, dossier, for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back. This one is the Fruity Brown Sugar. This one smells literally amazing. Then I have the Powdered Coconut, which is this bad boy over here. Um, These are like one of my two favorite scents. I do have like eight other ones and like three other ones coming in the mail. This is Dossier. We love Dossier, y'all. Smells so good. This is my Body Splash from Bath & Body Works. I use this kind of like as an under scent when I'm applying like big perfumes and like fragrances or whatever. This smells so good. It has like a fresh scent to it. This is a specific brand. If you go to Bath & Body Works, try this out. It smells so good. Another body splash that I have is this warm and cozy toasted coconut one. This one has essential oils in it. It's from Pink. This one also has these like glittery shimmer things in it as you guys can see. So it makes you 
be super shimmery and all that so we love that another fragrance that i got i also got this one recently and i've been loving it ever since is viva la juicy it's a juicy couture fragrance it says i can see the jewelry right now it says juicy couture my mom actually got me this for christmas i love the bottle it just really gives and y'all know i love pink so i'm gonna take the side it's so cute and it smells so good i got this bad boy right here y'all this perfume is so expensive i don't even know the name i mean it says hc yeah, if y'all know the names of this, let me know, because I totally forgot. It was a gift for Christmas, but it smells so good. It's a heel. Y'all see it. Yeah, it's cute. It's real cute. And this is where the spray is comes out or whatever, and you just push the back, as you guys can see right here. It smells so good. The last category we have is hair care. Um, we have this Cream of Nature Pure Honey. This is amazing for your hair. I think hair care is also a great part and an important part of hygiene, which is why I decided to put it in this video. And also because I have locks, so it's a lot of maintenance. Well, not that much maintenance, but you still have to maintain it only because it is matted up hair. Therefore, you want to take care of that. But this is what I use to moisturize my locks sometimes. It is a twisted cream, but I still use it to moisturize. To moisturize my curls, I use this Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Gel. This is what it looks like. Big bad boy right here. It smells great and it also moisturizes my curls really well. They do have different colors. I use the red one. They do have like a purple one, I think, and other ones. I have never tried those ones before. I always go with this one. To do my retwist, I use this lock-in twist and braid gel. This keeps my thick hair in place for days. I also use a dryer after I retwist my hair, whether my stylist retwist it or I retwist it myself. I always use this gel. It is amazing, I must admit, and it gets your locks super nice and neat. I also use this on my clients back at home when I do hair. Then I use this locking cream wax. This is my favorite. It smells so amazing. This is what I also use to keep my hair locked and tied up. Keep my hair thick at the roots and not thinning. I use this rice water shine mist. It's from the brand Yell. I believe I'm pronouncing it right. I really hope so. That brand is really good. I usually spray this in my hair like once or twice a week. Um, it's really like for daily use for real, but I use it couple times a week last but not least as far as hair oil um i have this island oil it's also in the brand jamaican mango and lime which is what my mango and lime locking wax is in this is what it looks like these are amazing i've been using this for a while now this is this really helps with hair growth lastly as far as hair products i use this olive oil mega moisture mousse so throughout my retwist sometimes my hair can happen to get puffy so i use this mousse right here a lot of braiders use this for their braids and locks and all that i use it for my locks as well oh you guys this is the end of my hygiene routine video really really hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you guys use any of these products or if you do recommend any alternative to any of these or if you've discovered any new pickups let me know down below what you've decided to try and, and if you do happen to try any of these products that i have in today's video let me know how they work for you really excited to hear about them if you're not following all my socials make sure you do so really really hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching once again love you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye y'all peace I'm nice in the room.